Welcome to Houston Happens, guys. We have finally made it to Friday, but if you're like me, every single day this week kind of felt a little bit like Friday, so I'm glad we've made it. Now, we've got another packed show with some unique food pairings perfect for fall. Now, you got to stick with that one. We're going to talk about that later, plus a special guest that's sure to make you get excited for Halloween. But first, we hope you woke up with a huge smile on your face thanks to another incredible Astros win. If you don't know the name Jordan Alvarez by now, we're here to help you get a little bit caught up. Seth Kovar is live again this morning from Minute Maid Park to break down another come from behind victory in the playoffs for the Strohs. Seth, I mean, come on, the guys did it again. Yeah, Jordan might want to consider running for mayor. I think he'd be a shoe in <laughs> at this point. He is an instrumental in both comeback wins for the Astros. They took care of business game one on Tuesday, did it again yesterday in comeback fashion, beating the Seattle Mariners two to four. And now it's off to Seattle. Seattle has to win game three or this series is over. Kind of feels like it already is. We want to show you some highlights now, and we'll start with a defensive gem courtesy of fan favorite Jose Altuve. Watch him flash the glove up the middle and then do the jump throw to nail the very speedy Mariners. Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez is like, wait, what? You're out, sir. Fast forward to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Astros trailing two to one at this point. Here comes that man, Jordan Alvarez. You remember the walk off on Tuesday game one? Of course you do. Well, he went deep again, this time a two run shot to put the Astros in front three to two. Alvarez had family in the stand. They're loving it. Nothing like having a good game in front of your fam. Something else to love the hot bat of third baseman Alex Bregman. He tacked on an insurance run in the bottom of the eighth to score. Jeremy Pena has had a great series as well. Then closer Ryan Presley worked around a leadoff walk to earn the save, and the Astros won four to two. Game three of this series in Seattle starts at 3.07 tomorrow afternoon. You can watch it on TBS and like we mentioned, a win for the Astros. It's a clean sweep and it's a berth in the American League Championship Series. And that puts you four games away, four wins away rather, from the World Series. Hannah, if you watched the game yesterday, I bet you caught some of it and I bet you loved what you were seeing. My goodness, you know what? I was just telling Adam, I went in on a run later on in the inning. So I watched the beginning and I was like, okay, we're losing again. And of course, I get done with my workout. I pull out my phone. First thing I check, did the Astros win? And of course, I'm seeing Jordan Alvarez again. That guy is carrying this team right now. Let's see if he can do that in Seattle. Thank you so much for that report, Seth. Well, it is soup season with fall and colder temperatures on the way. Or if you're in Texas, we know it more as chilly season. In this next segment, keep an open mind, like I mentioned, about a new tradition you might be starting thanks to this James Beard nominated chef. It is officially chilly season and here in Texas, everyone is getting ready for that time of the year. So I'm joined now by Chef Richard Blaze to tell us a little bit more about a fun recipe. What do we got cooking today? Listen, it's chili month. I know we're in Texas, so I know you're very serious about your chili, but we're talking about the viral flavor pairing with chili and it is a peanut butter sandwich. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. It's <laughs> a, a, almost a surprise reaction because it, it, is a, <laughs> it is a surprising flavor combination. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually hosting the first ever chili cook-off on TikTok. So if you want to find out about this competition, go to hashtag PB chili cook-off and four amazing TikTok creators, chefs, and foodies are throwing down their takes on chili and peanut butter sandwiches. And you can vote until October 22nd. Uh, and the winner gets a year supply of peanut butter that they can then donate to a charity of their choice. Now, they're doing some amazing dishes. I'm doing one for you right here. And I'm going to get controversial right off the bat because I know you're in Texas. Mm -hmm. My chili recipe mm -hmm. includes beans. Are you okay with it? We will allow it just this one time because I am so intrigued. Oh, uh, Liz, I appreciate the hospitality, which is another <laughs> thing that Texas is known for. Their amazing hospitality. So I do have some ground beef in here. I have all of my chili spices. I, I like cumin, cinnamon, cocoa powder, a lot of kind of interesting flavors that go into it. I also like to garnish my chili, as you can see here, with all the toppings on top, right? So that you can see all of that vibrant color. I like to add lots of jalapenos because I like it spicy, but also because I'm going to pair this with a peanut butter sandwich next to it and did you know that peanut butter neutralizes spices really i did yes. not know that so even if you're eating if you're just you had something that's so spicy a little spoon of creamy peanut butter is going to cool that off right so we're 
going to add peanut butter to this dish right now in a creative way as a sandwich. Uh, but because I'm a chef, I'm a celebrity chef, mm -hmm. I have restaurants, I have to take my sandwich to the next level. So that means taking the crust off. And I'm sorry, don't judge me. Mm -hmm. no, that's a good call. I like it's, it. It's my mom's fault. I'm taking the crust off and I make this soft bread ravioli filled with creamy peanut butter. A ravioli to top your chili. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, so, and a little bit of extra garnish to top this off, salted crushed peanuts. And there we have our spicy beef corn chili with a peanut butter sandwich to top it off. Okay, I am super intrigued by this. It's gonna be the new tomato basil and the grilled cheese, I think, around here in Texas. For anyone else that's just as intrigued as I am, where can we go for more information, especially about your peewee chili cook-off? Absolutely. If you think this is creative, wait till you see what the TikTok chefs did. You can go to hashtag PB Chili Cookoff and vote for your favorite until October 22nd to vote. All you have to do is like, comment, and share. And if you want their recipes or this one, you can go to nationalpeanutboard.org. Well, Richard, thank you so much for sharing that recipe for us. I hope a lot of people will get to cooking now. All right. Thank you. Maybe that's the perfect recipe for you watching the Astros uh, tomorrow. I know it was a little bit interesting. Touch and go there with the beans and the chili. The peanut butter is going to be a hit or a miss. I think I'm going to try it out, though. I am definitely intrigued, like I mentioned. Well, don't go anywhere. We have much more coming up on Houston Happens. We love you because you keep it real. <laughs> Judge Mavis, next on CW39 Houston. I drive an 18-wheeler. I had a flat, and I pulled over, and I got hit by another 18-wheeler. I hurt my neck, hurt my back. I was out of work for like two weeks. I was concerned about me going back to work because my family depends on me. After that, I called Jim Adler. They helped me out. Really, they got me everything I needed to get my life back together, paid all my bills off, and I didn't have to worry about nobody taking advantage of me. Couldn't have done it without Jim Adler. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and you can count on me to fight for you. Call today, 713-777-4000. When it comes to Medicare, join the thousands who are checking their checklists with Devoted Health Medicare Advantage plans. Check, check, you know it. Check it off with Devoted. My friends told me that this plan has great prescription drug coverage, so I switched to Devoted. Why do I love this plan? Because dental is included. And when your health care is checked, check, check, it feels you know good. It. Check it off with Devoted. Devoted Health checks off all the important boxes, like great benefits, healthy extras, and they make everything easy. Some may be paying too much or missing out on benefits they need. Compare your checklists with what's new for 2023. Did you know members can save up to $12,000 a year with Devoted Health? So call them today and request this absolutely free Medicare comparison guide. Check it off with Devoted Health offers plan premiums as low as $0, plus free dental with $5,000 to spend on dentures, crowns, and root canals, $25 or more a month to spend on groceries, plus $1,440 back in your Social Security check. Next, Devoted gives you tons of healthy extras that are designed to keep you healthy and save you money. You'll get hundreds of dollars to spend on items like vitamins and toothpaste, $325 or more a year for eyeglasses or contacts, a $0 copay for labs and tests, plus a free medical alert device and more. Check, check, you know it. Check it off with Devoted. And Devoted makes it all easy with quick access to one-on-one -on -one customer support based here in the USA. Most calls are answered in under 30 seconds. Everyone at Devoted wants to help. Learn more in this free Medicare comparison guide. Check it off with There's no obligation when you call, so pick up your phone and learn more about Devoted Health today. A new survey about everyday wealth and the money concerns of consumers is being released in a few weeks. And some of these findings happen to coincide with National Retirement Security Week. Joining us to discuss a few early insights are two journalists who co-host a radio show and podcast, Everyday Wealth. So thank you so much for joining us, Soledad O'Brien and Jean Chatsky. Real pleasure. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Well, you know, money impacts many aspects of our lives. So what early insights from Edelman Financial Engine's new survey can you share with us today? 
Yeah, and they're really early insights. There'll be more information. These are preliminary results of this survey, but it's fascinating. It's all around how people think and behave about their money. It's very consistent with what we find on our show, Everyday Wealth, which is for a lot of people, success financially is not a number in the bank. It actually is a combination, an intersection of their hopes and their goals and their dreams kind of intersecting with what they want to do with their money. And it's why we often host uh, the show with an Ed Edelman Financial Engines wealth planner, right, who's kind of helping people get to those goals and have a strategy around what kind of life they want to lead. Now, it's been a challenging year with inflation in the market. Did the study uncover anything interesting about current events and how they impact our financial decisions? Okay. Interesting is a, is a nice word. <laughs> they are really uh, stressing us out when we're talking about things like inflation and the volatility in the markets and a potential recession and what's going on in politics. People are worried. They're stressed, and and as a result, they are they're making some questionable decisions. Um, Seventy five percent of even the most affluent people that we surveyed told us they are dialing back a little bit on their retirement savings contributions. That may or may not be the right move for you. But the point is, you should know where you're trying to go. If you're making financial changes, financial moves blindly without consulting with your financial plan, or if you don't have a financial plan, it's really time to get one. Because knowing that there are steps along the way that will enable you to reach your personal goals is really the only way that it works. And 65% of people who were surveyed reported that they uh, make hasty financial decisions out of fear, uh, emotionally, or you know, when they're stressed, which that is terrible. You you cannot do that. So I think, you know, what we talk about a lot on the show is how do you interrupt that, right? How do you make sure that you're not doing that if you know? And I think this happens at all levels. People who are wealthy make the same, you know, hasty emotional decisions. And I think one way to interrupt that is to have someone who's kind of got the plan in mind who can say, okay, I get that it's a stressful time, but we have a plan. And let's go back to the plan. Let's look at the plan. Let's stick to the plan. And so we talk a lot about about that plan and how to get that plan uh, on our show every week. And another way to interrupt it is by just listening to our show, streaming our show. You can find it at everydaywealth.com or wherever you stream your favorite podcasts. All right, ladies, all of that information was so incredibly helpful. Thank you so much for joining us today. You bet. Thank you. Thanks. Well, during the height of the pandemic, the government declared a health care emergency that is set to expire soon. So joining us today is Dean Cameron, president of the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, or NAIC, here to discuss the big impact this will have on health insurance. Every state has an insurance commissioner, and Cameron is the Idaho director of insurance, in addition to serving as president of the NAIC. So welcome, Dean, to the show this morning. And why is this issue so important right now? Thanks, Hannah. Glad to be with you. So when the public health emergency goes away, uh, people will potentially lose coverage or lose benefits. It was set to expire uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, but has been extended multiple times as we're getting through the pandemic. The new extension is till January 11th. Open enrollment is taking place right now, so it's a great opportunity for consumers to review their plan, to review their benefits, and make sure that it fits for them for the upcoming year. So how can consumers though, protect themselves against maybe misleading advertising around Medicare and Medicaid and ensure they're getting good coverage? Yeah, so those are great questions. First of all, there's lots of advertisements, lots of mail brochures coming, lots of information. If it sounds too good to be true, it, it probably is. There's no such thing as a limited offer or a special discount or call us and we'll get your money back. Those, those are all gimmicks to get you to buy coverage from somebody outside. We want you to work with a local agent, a local licensed agent who has been trained and who's, who's there for you and can answer your questions. We also want you to be able to come to your local Department of Insurance. In Houston, you can, you can come to the Department of Insurance in Texas. Got a good commissioner there. They're designed to help 
you pick a plan that best suits you or answer the questions. They'll have a senior or a state health insurance advisor uh, that can help you make those decisions. Now you did mention open enrollment around the corner. What questions should consumers be asking when they're considering purchasing a health care plan? So we know that everybody's health changes over time. We change prescriptions. We get diagnosed with something new. So it's always important on these annual open enrollments that you look to see if your prescription that you're currently taking is covered under your current plan or the plan you're looking at. You want to look and make sure that the doctor you're going to and the providers that you're going to, they're covered or are in network. And then you want to look at cost. Not only the cost of the premium, but the cost of the benefits themselves, the deductible, the co-insurance, the co-pays. Sometimes the cheapest plan isn't the best plan for your health condition. So you want to work with an agent or work with your, your local uh, state in health insurance advisors or your local department of insurance uh, to, to uh, try and go through that. Well, Dean Cameron, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope a lot of people found this information extremely helpful. Again, thank you so much. Thank you. Glad to be with you. Well, who else is still catching up from inflation over the summer? I mean, my bank account took a hit. If yours did too, then it's the perfect time to hear from Power Wizard on ways you can save. So this time of year, usually it's the time when electricity rates, they're supposed to come down, but not this year. In fact, it seems like the opposite is happening and rates are at an all time high. So Jeff, of course, our good <laughs> friend from Power Wizard, I have to ask you, what on earth is going on? Uh, it's ugly out there from yes. a pricing perspective. I mean, my turn, my plan's coming up. And so I'm having to go out there and shop and it is not pretty. I mean, we're seeing rates 14, 15, 25 cents out there. and so. You better make sure you get on the right plan right now or you're in trouble. And why are the rates so high still? Well, it, it's just cost. Co everything is cost. Uh, the commodity price is higher. Uh, you know, the, we're seeing like Centerpoint just raised their rates uh, recently of uh, a little over a penny just because costs are up. And so, as, you know, as much as we don't like it, the consumer ends up paying for it. And yeah. it's very frustrating uh, from that perspective. Seems like the cost of everything. But here's the thing. There are so many plans out there, too, because when you have to renew, yep. it's overwhelming. How do we know which plan is good? Well, and that's challenging yeah. uh, for the average person. I've been in the business for almost 20 years, and I'm, I'm out there having to shop for mine. And I'm like, this is, it's hard. And so we have this really great tool. We built the Power Wizard that goes out there and shops for the best plan for you. And it actually matches your house's footprint, your usage, to the best plan on an annual cost structure and goes, this is the plan you should be on. And so I'm in this, I, we, I helped build this tool, and what's crazy is I'm like, these prices are so high, I think I can go beat it. I can't beat our own tool. So <laughs> I have to let our own tool buy my own plan. So as an expert, I'm like, ugh. So it is, you, you, you feel uncomfortable trusting the, the system, but Power Wizard has great tools to help you shop and get the best price for your product and on top of that we'll do all the work for you. That's what I love because it's not like you leave us hanging because you'll help us monitor throughout we'll, the year. We'll monitor it, we'll sign you up with the rep, we'll keep track of your electricity rates and if there's a better plan we'll sign you up. We take care of all the transition, we just take care of everything so you know that you're on the best price for you and your family. And that's what we all need to hear right now for sure. I would love for somebody to, you know, hey, here's the best gas price for gasoline. Here's the best place to get shoes. I mean, here's the best price at all times. Right. But Power Wizard, we tell people we will always help you get the best price for your home. And we live by that policy every day. You're kind of like our personal shopper. We are your personal shopper I when love it comes it. electricity. Because I need that. I need a personal <laughs> shopper in my life. And, and no one wants to worry about electricity. Let us worry about electricity. You worry about taking care of the important things in life. Yes, I've got enough <laughs> on my mind right now. In fact, I started getting hot thinking of it, so I need to say Save on my electricity rate as my husband. Our thermostat okay. keeps going up for sure. <laughs> so where can people go for more information and to sign up? Powerwizard.com. We're the open 24 by 7 on the website. But if you've got questions, we have call center agents that are there Monday through Saturday to help answer questions because we know it's confusing. Come talk to us. Yes, they will help you through the whole process. A personal shopper. You can't beat that. Well, as always, it was a pleasure having you on. Thank you. Well, it is almost time to reveal our special guest of the show today, a four-legged friend that's sure to make you howl. That's coming up next on Houston Happens. Age comes with wisdom, and wisdom comes with benefits. Dryer's broken. 
You want a socket. So make the wise call and compare your Medicare Advantage plan with Cigna. Or it's molar. Cigna Medicare Advantage plans offer savings on your Part B premium, up to $20,000 in covered dental services, and a Cigna Healthy Today Flex card for easy access to rewards and select benefits. <laughs> So if you're 65 or older, call 1-855-721-1539 today. Cigna also offers hearing, vision, and an over-the-counter allowance all in one plan. Piggy bank. And up to $200 for doing healthy activities. So call 1-855-721-1539. That number again is 1-855-721-1539 to compare your Medicare Advantage plan to Cigna. Murders have nearly doubled since Democrat judges took over our courthouse. The result? More innocent people murdered in Houston than Chicago. These radical judges have created a revolving door at the courthouse, releasing violent criminals and repeat offenders to rob, assault, and murder again. One Democrat judge says we should abolish prisons and defund the police, keep dangerous criminals behind bars. Vote out soft on crime Democrat judges. And there's no aspect of this job that I haven't done. There is a huge advantage in that. This time I'm going to be on the insurgent side to change the game, to be different. New perspective, new purpose, new network. That's News Nation. What would it be like? That is nearly a wrap on today's show, but before we go, we have the one special guest and also a look at our sponsored content brought to you by National Peanut Board, Edelman Financial Engines, National Association of Insurance Commissioners, and Pow Wizard. Now is the time, and hey guys, costume contests, by the way, they're not just for humans this year. We've got the cutest visitor today on our show from Houston Pets Alive. You can't see her right now because she is being the ultimate good girl right now, dressed up, I guess, for October Fest, but we have, I'm going to go ahead and say it, Baton Rouge is her name, and Jacob here to tell us a little bit more about a special competition. So, can you tell us a little bit about Baton Rouge first? Oh, Baton Rouge, uh, she's one of our rescue animals. Uh, she so is roughly four years old, about 25 pounds ish, and just. Uh, just the oh, goodest girl. Yeah, and just a ball of energy. A ball of energy, and she has been enjoying her time going around our entire station greeting everyone. We love a good little therapy type dog, and she's been helping us out. It's been a really exciting Friday. But she is dressed up for one of two reasons. One, of course, it's October, but also a special competition going on, the Halloween, not Halloween, Halloween competition going on. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So Bardog Wines, who's one of uh, one of our supporters, uh, one of the biggest uh, organizations that we work with, they have a competition online, uh, and they've partnered with uh, Pet Finder Foundation, where they're helping like rescues around the country and shelters raise money um, for our organizations, and it's a costume contest. And guess what? Baton Rouge is actually a oh, part yeah. of that costume contest. Yeah, and for the winner of the costume contest, that organization will receive a $1,000 donation from Bardog Wines. So you can go to Bardog Wines um, and 
go online and actually vote for your favorite pet and help bring about more awareness and help dogs like uh, Baton Rouge get adopted. And they're having the competition. I mean, voting is going to be a fun thing to do. You just go to like Instagram or Facebook, Bar Dog Wine, and you can look at some of the pictures. You might catch a little Baton Rouge here on one of those. I hope you like your costume because I have to say, my dog Sadie, I put her in a costume and that dog is just trying to get that thing off all day long. She's so calm about this. Yeah, she, she, she's a good girl. She likes looking nice. <laughs> she likes looking nice. Well, for people that might not be joining the competition, but they've been thinking for a while, like, hey, I want to adopt a dog. What can you tell us about how they can do that with Houston Pets Alive? Uh, so the best thing for folks to do is go on to Houston Pet, HoustonPetsAlive.org. Uh, and then you can go on to adopt and you learn more about our adoption process, fill out the application. Um, and then, you know, or you can meet us this weekend um, at Barktoberfest, um, you know, it, at Powder Keg and, okay. and we actually will have a adoption bit going on there. So either way, you can meet us this weekend and get it done. We usually have adoptions events on Saturdays, but just go to our website, uh, HoustonPetsLive.org and you'll learn all about it and come adopt from us. Adopt, don't, oh, don't shop. That's what I like to hear. I know there has been a little bit of overcrowding over the summer at some of uh, the, the places where people are trying to get people to adopt dogs. Is that the case with Houston Pets Alive? Uh, I say right now uh, we're doing our best to manage the population that we have uh -huh. um, and we're currently not doing too many intakes um, mm -hmm. but we're working our best and, and we're, we're actually thriving getting our adoptions done so please come check us out uh, and find out uh, you know how we do our magic Oh, perfect. That'd be so great. I know a lot of dogs want a forever home. Baton Rouge, she's up for adoption, right? Yes, she is. She is definitely up for adoption. Okay, who doesn't want to take home Baton Rouge? That is probably one of the most unique names, and I heard there's a lot of unique names <laughs> going on at Houston Pets Live. We've got a Beyonce there, I hear. Yes, we do. We do. Uh, we Beyonce's do. a bit of a diva, but Baton Rouge is camera ready. Good girl, just staring. She's ready for that close up. She sees herself, I think. <laughs> anyway, look at it, guys. It is a good time to go out there and adopt a dog. Snuggles for the winter as the temperatures go down. More information we'll have also on our website, CW39.com. But that is a wrap for Houston Happens today. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you on Monday.